So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and uh, let me just adjust my seat here a little bit and here we go and welcome to another video. It's uh, I don't know 3.15 in the morning in the night I should say and uh, yeah let's just get started. So what we need to discuss in this video is how we're going to make use of the select input um, select element rather I should say so you see that we have an input element with us but the thing is that uh, input does not actually allows us to select from a bunch of list now why the hell is that why didn't not uh, why did not HTML creators account that for in I have again no idea as usual I have no idea how HTML semantics are laid out why they are laid out the way they are so here we are we just have to accept that and move on so what we're going to do is we're going to create a select tag. Now the select tag right here, what it's going to do is it's going to provide you with a bunch of options. You can see right here we have a nice little widget which is waiting for us to make some stuff. But again we need more information inside the select tag so we're going to close it. Right? Now what you need to do, sure you can go ahead and start writing stuff inside this but it won't probably work. So what the select tag is expecting you to do is write another, um, you know, tag which is known as the option tag, right? An option tag would contain information like option one, and then obviously it got a close as well. So now, interesting enough, we can see that on the HTML we start seeing this option one now, but because this is the only option, um, you know, it's the only one available. So if I go ahead and duplicate this right here so if i create a bunch of copies option two and option three and if i go ahead and see you can see now we have option two and option three and i can go ahead and toggle between them as well pretty cool stuff right so now you have a list of select elements whatever you can select and eventually we're going to be um you know just learning how to pick up <clears throat> what the user has selected through javascript and all but yeah yeah that's basics of how you're going to create a select tag so you have an input field right next to it and a list of options. So you can probably have, you know, there's another attribute for input field called placeholder, which is going to display some ghost text. So I can say what, uh, write your name, something like that, right? So I have this ghost text, which disappears when I start typing and appears again, which is pretty awesome, right? And here I can say, maybe something like you know select your favorite dish something like this right and obviously you do not really want this to be one of the options right so what you can do is provide an attribute again called disabled now all of this stuff trust me you're gonna start learning um, all this stuff eventually as you're gonna create more and more applications by yourself this is just a basic tutorial we'll, we'll be covering this stuff not really as an explicit thing because then there would be a million tutorials and I do not really want to bombard you with a million web tutorials on just HTML because it would come naturally to you why you want to use stuff like this when we are creating actual applications or maybe when you're doing projects, live projects on CodeDAM. So yeah, for now, this is how this stuff works. You can see now we have disabled the stuff and you can write basically your dish names as well if you want. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.